what a mighty God we serve. I believe we are here tonight. Wherever you are, go ahead and invite someone. It's a beautiful Wednesday night here in the city of Woodbridge. Uh, uh, my name again is Israel Oilade, popularly known as Baba Post 2. Uh, I'm excited to be back on this platform tonight, Voice of the Prophets. The Voice of the Prophets. What an amazing night it's going to be. And thank God for your lives. And thank God for what God has been doing. Thank God for um, the beautiful life God has given to you. Now, June is about to end in a few days again. Amazing, right? Now. We step into the seventh month, the month of perfection, the month of praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I have a word for us tonight from the book of Judges chapter 11. I'll be speaking on what I call, I'm not a captive. I'm a captive in the making. Hallelujah. It's going to be very brutal. And I believe somebody's going to be blessed here tonight. So, once again, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, do me a favor, share this broadcast right now as it were, right now, minimum of six times, January, February, March, every May, June, six times, minimum. You can do as many times as you can. Share it on all platforms that you're connected with. Share it, tag it, tag, uh, tag it on, your, on, your, on your Twitter if, it's, if you're able to do that, Instagram, you know, tag somebody over there. Give them notification. Tell them to join on this platform, and they will be blessed tonight. They will be blessed. We thank God for the success of last uh, weekend meeting, deliverance meeting. It was brutal. We couldn't put all of the videos of the deliverance on camera, but it's on, it's recorded. You know, but we couldn't go live with it. You know, while it was ongoing, you know, and then. We one-on-one -on -one deliverance. It was just amazing what we saw God did last weekend. Now, we're still in the season of deliverance. In case you need deliverance, you can still reach out to us. Particularly if you're in this region, you can reach out to us. We can see how God will help us to be a blessing to your life. If there's anything that is in the negative in your life that you've observed and you've seen and that has become a trend in your life that you need God's help for, that you, you need God's God's intervention for you've prayed, you've fasted, but it's, it's as if it's, in a, it's becoming an unending battle, an unending cycle in your life. You can give us a call, you can reach out to us, and we can we can trust God to use us to be a blessing to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah! What a mighty God we serve. Now we'll be looking from the book of Judges, chapter. 11 you know and i will be as i speak as i as you know as as it is our custom as i read the scripture i speak for the prophetic word of god by your life i make decrees and, and, and listen to me god has been honoring our words in the life of the people and tonight will be an exception again thank you for joining us by someone and i show you not a captive, captive, but a captive in the making. Hallelujah. Now, Judges chapter 11. I'm reading from the book of Judges chapter 11. Now, hear this. God is going to judge your enemies in the name of Jesus God. God will bring judgment upon those who oppose God's agenda in your life. God will bring judgment upon the witches and the wizards. God will bring judgment upon the wicked. God will bring judgment upon the destroyers of your destiny. God will bring judgment upon the destroyer of the works of your hands. God will bring judgment upon those who want to see you fail. God will bring judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Once again, thank you for joining us tonight. You will be blessed tonight. Now, Jephthah the Gilead died, Judges chapter 11. Now, Jephthah the Gilead died, was a mighty man. Was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son 
of an allot, and Gilead begat Jephthah, and Gilead begat Jephthah, and Gilead's wife bear him sons, and his wife's sons grew up, and they thrust out Jephthah, and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit in our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brethren, and dwelt in the land of Tob. And Jephthah fled no, from his brethren, and dwelt in the land of Tob. And there were gathered vain men to Jephthah. I like you to underline that. And there were gathered unto Jephthah vain men. He was a man of valor, but vain men gathered unto him. Hmm. And went out with him. Not only did they gather, but they also went out with him. I want to prophesy that God will make men to gather unto you. The good people, great men and women will gather unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will gather around you and uh, they will go out with you. That, that, what does that imply? God will make good people to identify with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> good people will identify with you and when they do, they will go out with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4. And it came to pass in process of time that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. And it was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of, the, of, the, of, of Gilead went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tob. And they said unto Jephthah, Come and be our captain. Oh, I like that. And be our captain, that we may fight with the children of Ammon. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, Did not ye hate me, and expel me out of my father's house? And why are ye come unto me now, when ye are in distress? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore we turn again to thee now, that thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, If ye bring me home again to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord deliver them before me, shall I be your head? Thank you, Jesus. And verse 10. And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, The Lord be witness between us, if we do not do so according to thy words. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and captain over them. And Jephthah uttered all his words before the Lord in Mizpah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's Judges chapter 11 in case you're just joining us. Uh, Jephthah, just like you have uh, heard his story, his background story, he was a son of an allot. He was a son of an allot. God bless you, woman of God, Apostle Paula uh, Jeffries. Gaskin. God bless you, great woman of God. I celebrate you. Uh, everyone joining us tonight, wherever you are, you know, thank you so much for joining us. Keep liking this video. I can see my daughter, Admina Tag, Adama, wherever you are, I can see Reverend Joyce, Sister Diane, where have you been? Where's your face? Sister Diane, where are you? Say hello, Papa dear. Now, Wherever you are, please invite somebody. Share this broadcast right now. At least, like I said, prophetically, minimum of six times. If 
God worked for six days and on the seventh day he rested. Now, your rest season is about to appear to you. Your rest season is about to come true for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, just like we saw in the story of Jephthah, if there was a season of struggle, working and laboring. He labored for many years, but there was a season, a season came that the people that rejected him came back to him. Now, they, they, I, I, I don't want to rush myself tonight. I, 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 listen to me. You know, let, let's, let's take it slowly. Let's look at the story background, then I will begin to pick out the wisdom from the story. Jephthah, so like we said, we saw in the story, his father, um, uh, his father's name was called Gilead. And Gilead means mountain of testimonies. Mountain of testimonies or the hill of testimonies. That was the man that gave birth to Jephthah. And Jephthah means God's opens. God's open doors. God's access door, God's permits, God, God's breakthrough. That was the name of Jephthah. This young boy had a great name, but he had a but in his life. His mother was an alert. His father, who is a bundle of testimonies, a mountain of testimonies, a, the hill of testimonies, went out and slept with an alert slept with a woman that has no no personality slept with a woman that that has no identity he slept with a common a commoner on the street and the bible says and then in the relationship one time relationship became the birth of jephthah you know he he had an encounter with this a lot and she got pregnant and like you know i often say this humorously her lots don't like to be pregnant because once they are pregnant, it means for nine months their business is bad. They will not do business as usual anymore. They, they, they can't be pregnant and be you no know, jumping around. So he, he, nobody wants to sleep with a pregnant alert. That is bad, bad business. So for nine months, it means Jephthah's mother was out of business. <laughs> she was out of circulation. You know, and Jephthah went back home. I mean, Gilead went back to his house. Don't forget, Gilead was married. So he went back to his house. He had a wife at home, but he didn't have children with his wife. So he went out and he had Jephthah with an alot. So the alot brought Jephthah back home and dumped Jephthah on, on Gilead's laps. And uh, and then she went back to her business as usual. Like I said, you can't tame an adult. You can't tame you know, a prostitute. You cannot tame a, a war. So she went back to business as usual. And so Gilead was, uh, had to be responsible for raising Jephthah. You know. And so he called his son Jephthah. God, if in Hebrew, in, in meaning, it means God's open or opens open door. Or breakthrough, and so Jephthah grew up. While he was growing up, uh, the wife of Gilead at home got pregnant, and she gave birth to children. The her years of delay ended, and now she had children for her husband Gilead. So Gilead's name, which means bundle of testimonies, answered to him. He became a bundle of testimonies. He became a mountain of testimonies. I want to pray for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you shall become a bundle of testimonies. You shall become a, a mountain of testimonies. Many testimonies left, right, center will, will embarrass you. God will show you favor of testimonies. Good things will begin to come into your life. From the left, from the right, from the front to the back. Good things will begin to come near you, uh, uh, around you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Gilead, Gilead's children, when they grew up one day, their mother told them that Jephthah is not their brother, that she's not the mother of, Gilead, of Jephthah. So, the children got to know that Jephthah was a son of an alot. 
So they called Jephthah one day and told Jephthah that he cannot stay with them anymore in the house. That he cannot share in their father's possession. He, he cannot be hitting at home with them. He can go to school with them. He cannot ride in their father's car with them. He cannot sleep on the same bed with them. No, Jephthah became a vagabond. He was thrown out of his father's house. So he ran to the elders of the land. He went to his father. His father could not help him. He, he, he went to the elders of the people. And the people turned their back against him. I don't know the elders that have sit against your matter. I don't know the elders that have sat upon, upon your destiny. And they have refused to access to your blessing. Though you are God's blessings. Though you are God's image. Though you are God's anointing. Though you are God's choosing. But it has, it's as if the people around you don't appreciate you. They don't want you. They don't want to see your face. There are people who just despise you for no just reason. There are people who don't just want to celebrate who you are. There are people who don't want to identify with, you, with God's honor upon you. It was God's open door. Jephthah, it was God's blessing. The blessings of God was upon him. He was called the breakthrough. He bought, hear, hear me, despite his beautiful name, but his life, his life's foundation was tormenting his life. His life's foundation was afflicting him. His life's foundation was a torment in his flesh. His life's foundation was dealing with him. Because he was a son of an Allah was the reason why the people in the house turned against him. His, his siblings rejected him. I don't know those who have rejected you from your father's house, from your mother's house. I come in the volume of the book tonight. I pray for you in that same family where you have been rejected. God will make you a celebrity. God will make you a woman, a, a woman of honor. God will make you a, a son of, 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 of destiny. In the name of Jesus. In that same city where you have been ridiculed, God will honor your business again. In that same community where you have been talked down, God will favor your ministry again. In that same ministry, <coughs> uh, community where your blessing has been hijacked, God will restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. I mean, I'm about to take something. Now, Jephthah was rejected by his, not just by his own brothers, he was by his, the children of his father, he was rejected by his father, he was rejected by the elders. His immediate family rejected him. His siblings rejected him. His own father rejected him. His own mother rejected him. She left him, dumped him with his father and walked away. Walked out of his life. Who is that woman that has walked out of your life? Who is that man that has walked out of your life? Who is that fellow that has walked out of your, of your, of your, of your destiny? Walked out of your business. They have walked out on you. Who is that fellow who has walked out of your life and they go about running you down? Barako Shataliga Barada Yados. I prophesy for you right now. And I speak by the mandate of the oil over my life. Where those same people who have ridiculed you, who have walked out on you, God will bring you honor before them. God will honor you before their very eyes. This season, this month, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jephthah mother abandoned him. Who abandoned you? Who has left you? I pray for you. Those who left you, they are coming back to celebrate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, his father could not stand for him. Who is that fellow who could not defend you in the midst of battle, <coughs> in the midst of challenges? When there are the when things when people are throwing stones at you, when people began to call you names, they all left you. His father could not stand for him. Many of you, you are friends who can't stand for you. They can't stand for you. Many of you have friends who cannot stand for you. They cannot stand for you. Talkless of standing with you. Ah, but I pray for you. Are you hearing me? They cannot stand for you. Neither can they stand with you. They cannot defend you outside. Neither can they defend you in your presence. They are enemies. I call them enemies. I call them frenemies like they, they are called. But I pray for someone. It doesn't matter who has left you. His mother left him. His father abandoned him. The elders rejected him. Look at that. 
Number one, his mother <coughs> walked out on him. His mother walked out on him. I say again, who has walked out on you? They came into your life, took what you have, and walked out on you. They came into your life with a promise-free note <coughs> that they will be there for you. And they walked out on you. They left you to your destiny. They left you to find your bearing. They, they left you when you needed them most. But I pray for you. It doesn't matter how hot it is right now. Or how bad it was in, in, when they left you. But I pray for you. God is bringing, bringing you restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. They left you when they had the means to help you. They left you when they have the means to help you. And when Jephthah's mother left him, that was when he needed his mother most. If the mother could not breastfeed him, he lacked breastfeeding, he lacks food. Jephthah was eating cassava leaf because there was no breast milk. Jephthah lived and grew up with cassava. He grew up with, with, with coconuts. He grew up with yam, yam. He eating yam. He grew up eating hard food. Jephthah did not, was not fed with milk. His mother dumped him and walked out on him. Jephthah didn't enjoy his, 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 his childhood life. He didn't enjoy his, 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 his life when he was a, 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 a tender baby. The mother dumped him for the father. And, 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 and of course, that kind of a child would have been suffering under the tutelage of, of his stepmother. The stepmother would have been tormenting him. Every time the father would be out of the house, the stepmother would be insulting, would knock him on the head. Jephthah never enjoyed as a little boy. Jephthah grew up to, to experience torment and suffering and rejection. Jephthah was never loved. I don't know who I'm talking to here tonight. Maybe you have been rejected so badly that you have, you have, lo you, have you don't even know what is called love. You have not, not never experienced true love. You, you lack fatherly love. You, la you lack motherly love. You lack sibling love. You lack love from your brethren. You lack love from the, the from from your community. You lack love from the people that are around you. Everybody seems to be to be so hostile to, towards you. Jephthah's life was like that. <clears throat> Not only that, the mother worked out on him. I said, his bro his brethren, his 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 father also denied him. Couldn't stand for him. And then the elders of the city, the elders, those who should know better. I said something earlier on <coughs> that an old man can be a old fool. An old man can be a old, an old fool. There are people who have come of age, but they have not grown up to be matured. The, the, the elders of the land had the story of Je Jephthah. They, Jephthah ran to, him, to them. Please, my father cannot, he is not standing for me. My brothers have rejected me. They want me out of my father's house. My mother is nowhere to be found. My stepmom is maltreating me. The elders of the land also rejected him. They told him to go away from their presence. They chased Jephthah away from his father's house. They chased Jephthah away from, his, from the city. They chased Jephthah away from his country. I don't know how they chased you out of your country. I don't know how they chased you out of your father's house. I don't know who chased you out of your father's house. I don't know who chased you out of your blessings. I mean, when a man is chased out from his father's house, he's chased out from his possession. When a man is chased out from his father's house, he's chased out from, his, from a covering. When a man is chased out from his father's house, it means he has lost his identity. Jephthah became an orphan with a father, with a mother. He, he, he lived a life of an orphan. Ah, I pray for you. You will not live a life of an orphan. You will not be left alone. You will not, if, if only that I was left alone, it would have been good. He was rejected. Ah, he was rejected on top of it. That is like insult upon injury. I don't know who left you. I don't know. Now, if they left you and they leave you to be at peace, and they leave you to be at peace, it would have been good. Now, they left you, yet they will not let you be at peace. They left you and they go about damaging you. 
They left you and they go about mentioning your name for evil. They left you and begin to tell your story to everybody that cares to listen to them. They call him a son of an alot. They call him a son of an alot. They begin to call and reproach you by the names of the things that have beaten you down in the past. They begin to introduce you like a failure. They were not introducing Jephthah in the capacity of who God has made him to be. They began to introduce Jephthah in the name of his mother, Jephthah, the daughter, the son of an alot. That was a, that was too much insult. Who have been insulting you? I am praying for someone right now as I'm speaking that for every insult you have received, God will turn it around as a testimony. For every everyone who has opened their mouth to insult you, for everyone who has opened their mouth to ridicule you, for everyone who has opened their mouth to dishonor you, God will bring you favor before them. God will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody shout Amen, fire. If you can shout that Amen, you know, fire, God will do something for you this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Jephthah left his father's house. He left his father's house because the, the mother abandoned him, the father rejected him, the sibling dishonored him. The act literally asked him to leave the house. And now the elders of the city turned their back against him. So Jephthah had no place to turn to. Jephthah had no one to turn to. You are listening to me right now. You don't know where to turn to. I have a good news for you. Turn to God. God is the maker of all men. Hallelujah. I'm excited about that. When father, David said, when father and mother forsook me, thou, my God, did not reject me. David also was rejected. In sin did his mother conceive him, and his, his mother never stood with him. His mother, this, it appears as if those who, were, who suffer rejection, you know, and run to God, always come out great. Jephthah turned, he was a man, man, mighty man of valor. You need to be connected to God to be a mighty man of valor. Jephthah turned to God. While he turned to God, he, he was dwelling in, in, the, in the wilderness. And the Bible says, vain men, people who have failed in life, people who had no, 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 no recognition in destiny, people who had no encounter, beautiful encounter in life, people who have nothing to show for their life, they came unto him and they said to Jephthah, we know you are we are we are on the same level but there's something about you that you have been rejected doesn't mean you are under a curse are you listening to me that men reject you doesn't mean god reject is does not mean god's rejection jephthah was rejected by the city the city dwells rejected it it's like the city you are now rejecting you the people he was living with rejected it the the one that gave back to him rejected it what more? But God didn't reject Jephthah. Why? Because Jephthah didn't reject God. God didn't reject Jephthah because Jephthah didn't reject God. Everybody may have rejected you, but do yourself a favor. Don't run away from God. Jephthah stayed with God. He became a mighty man of valor, like Gideon. Gideon Though was under the oppression of 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 the of, of the of the of the enemies, and the people of Jephthah were under oppression, but Jephthah stood with God. Jephthah didn't stay away from God. Now the problem of many people is that when they have been rejected by men, they also will reject God. They will stop going to church. They will not serve God. They will be depressed. They will be frustrated. Now when you have God, you are the majority. One with God is the majority. Let all the whole world turn against you, but don't turn away from God. Hallelujah. Don't turn away from God. Don't walk away, away, away from God. Don't stay away from God. Don't stay away from His presence. Don't stay away from His... Now, because He was a man who, who gave Himself over to God, God brought in vain people 
And God, because God was with Jephthah, who was a mighty man of valor, though rejected by people, he trained those ordinary men to become mighty also. Because he was, he was given to the serving of the mighty God. Hallelujah. That was the secret of Jephthah. So for many years, Jephthah was serving God. Though rejected by men, but he didn't reject himself. Don't reject yourself. And don't reject your maker. Let everybody be against you. Don't reject yourself. And don't reject your maker. If you want to become a captain. If you reject God. And you reject yourself. You remain in, ca in captivity. Those who remain in captivity. Are those who have rejected God. Every time Israel finds themselves in captivity. It is because they rejected God. So when you reject God. You will remain in captivity. When you reject yourself, when you when you when you deny yourself, when you lost lose your identity, you you remain a, a, you remain a captive. So God was with Jephthah because Jephthah stayed with God. Don't forget his name. In God, God opens. God opens. How can a man that his name God opens be rejected? God, 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 God's hand was upon him. He was a child of destiny, but he was rejected from the womb. Look at his conception of Jephthah. A man that is called God's open door. Ah, a man that is called open gates. A man that is called access door. A man that is called a breakthrough. He was rejected. How do you break through when everybody rejects you? How do you break through when everybody don't want to do business with you? But because he, he, he was with God, Jephthah breakthrough indeed. I prophesied for you to you that over your life you shall break through. You shall have open doors this year. Doors will break open for you. New business will open for you. New contact is coming for you. Great might and mighty people are coming, even though your beginning might be small. But your latter end shall be great. In the name of Jesus Christ, though you are falling and rising right now, but you will rise to stand. You will rise to stand again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody left you, but God is still with you. I tell you, everybody left Jephthah, but God remained with him. The back of Jephthah, his, his conception was a conception of, the, of shame. But God didn't reject him. Even though he was born by an allot. I don't care who gave back to you. Maybe a witch gave back to you. Maybe a wizard gave back to you. Maybe a wicked man gave back to you. Maybe a wicked and uncaring mother gave back to you. I don't care who that woman is. I don't care who that man is. I don't care who that brother is. I don't care the number of them that left you. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By my God, by the hand of my God, you shall be helped again. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, help is coming your way. My God that I serve will help you. The God of Jephthah we arise for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God that helped Jephthah will help you. The God that honored Jephthah will honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jephthah was abandoned. One day, the enemies came against the land of Gilead. The enemies came against them. Now, hear me. Those who became your enemies, their enemies will, will come after them. Do you hear what I just said? Those who turn themselves to become your enemies, God will raise enemies to afflict them. More wicked people will come against them. Someone that is more wicked than they, themselves will we become their own enemies. No, the people of Ammonites became the enemies of the people of Gilead because they hated Gilead, uh, Jephthah. And God, it was a divine setup. God had a plan for Jephthah to come back to the city. But God didn't want Jephthah to come back ordinarily. God wanted him to come back like a captain. Ah, hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm excited about this. In the same in the community, in the same place where you have been rejected, God will make you a ruler there. God will make you to rule over your oppressors. God will make you to rule over your enemies. 
God will make you to rule over your, those who oppress you. God will make you to rule over those who insulted you. God will make you to rule over those who despise you. God will make you to rule over those who rejected you. In the name of the, it was a divine setup. God made the, the Ammonites to become the enemies of the people of Gilead. And so the Bible says, and so they went and fetched Jephthah. They went to the, 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 the land where he was. Now, while Jephthah was in the wilderness, he, I said he was with God. And while he was with God, he began to train vain people. God brought people into, into his life. Now, the people around you may look ordinary right now. But God has positioned you in their midst to, to, to mentor them. God has positioned you in their life to, so that you can reshape their mind. Jephthah was, was rejected, but Jephthah didn't reject himself. So Jephthah find purpose in himself. Jephthah lived for a purpose. Jephthah lived for a cause. Jephthah began to train himself like a warrior. That's why he was called a mighty man of valor. Jephthah began to train himself in warfare. Jephthah engaged the instrument of warfare. Jephthah became a prayer machine. The people began to consult Jephthah for prayer. People began to come for, to Jephthah for counseling. Instead of Jephthah being frustrated in the woods and crying, crying his life away, Jephthah began to train himself. He became so mighty in the woods that his fame went into the city. I want to prophesy. They, they throw you out of the city and you are now in the wilderness by yourself. In the name from the wilderness life, God will announce you back in the city. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that one room where you are living right now, they chase you out from an apartment. They chase you out from three bedroom flats. They chase you out from the duplex. From that single, from that place. Now you are dwelling. There was a time I had to be sleeping in my car. Oh my God, I love God. I have lived the life of Jephthah before. There was a time I suffered so much rejection that all I had was to be sleeping in my car. Not for one month, not for two months. I was sleeping in my car. And I was building a church for the Lord. I had no home, but I was building in 2012. I was building for the Lord, and all I had was to be sleeping in my car. Every penny that comes to my hand, I was buying blocks and I was building for the Lord. I was the rejected. I was the talk about. I was the, oh my God, Shadaba. But in that same year, before the end of 2012, the Lord empower my hand to complete that project. Oh my God, God will do for you what every man thinks they cannot do for you. Every help that men have refused you, God by himself will appear and do for you. You will not labor. You will not struggle. You will not be frustrated. In the name of though they have rejected, but don't reject yourself, brother. They may have rejected you. Don't reject yourself, sister. That man may have worked out on you. Don't work out on yourself. That sister may have worked out on your life. Don't work out on your own life. Are you listening to me? They may say you are not good enough for them. But you are good enough for God, your maker. God, you are good enough for God. That's why God is your maker. They didn't make you. Your mockers are not your maker. Your mockers are not your maker. Your mockers are not your maker. God made you. And God made you preciously. God made you beautifully. God made you wonderfully. God made you fearfully. Woo! Oh my God. Are you listening to me? Let them reject you in the city. But your fear will come from the wilderness. And storm the city again. They will soon hear your name again on the, on the social media. They will soon hear your name on CNN. That God is doing amazing things for you. Your name will soon enter the Guinness Book of Record. Woo! <laughs> Keep doing what you are trained to do. Keep doing what you are anointed to do. Keep doing what you are called to do. If you are in business, pursue your business. Don't care about those who rejected you. If you are if you are working, go ahead and be doing your work. Be excited about your work. Be excited about your talent. Be excited about your calling. Be excited about your ministry. Be excited about your passion. Be excited about your, 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 your zeal. Be excited about anything that makes you happy. Be excited about the good things that you are, you, you are left with. Be excited about your own life. You may not have money, but be excited about the gift of life. You may not have a house, but be excited that your soul is living in your body. Ah, 
Be excited that your spirit has not departed from your body. Be excited that you are still having God on your side. Be excited that the word, you have the word of God. The word may have rejected you, but the word of God is in you. The word may have rejected you, but the word of God is abides in you. Be excited that you have Jesus in the inside of you. Be excited that because there is hope for the tomorrow. Be excited because there is help coming your way. Be excited because there is favor coming your, your, your way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. They rejected him in the city. He went to the wilderness. From the wilderness, his fame went back to the city. And the people of the city, the elders of the city, who could not judge the matter aright, who could not help him to, to take back in his father's arm, who could not talk to his father to, to take him back home. No, the SM elders came to meet him in the wilderness and they begged him. They said, Jephthah, we know we sinned against you. We denied you help. We, de we refused you when you needed us most. We turned our back against you. The whole elders of the land didn't favor you. We, we, we connive with, the, with, with, with your father and your siblings to, to, to rob you of your father, father's inheritance. But right now, come with us. Not only your fathers, I want you. Now the whole city wants you. The whole nation wants you. This land of America will celebrate you. This land of Sierra Leone will celebrate you. This land of Ghana will celebrate you. This land, this nation called Nigeria will celebrate you. The same country where you came out from, that nobody knew you from. In the name of Jesus Christ, very shortly, they will hear your name again. They will hear your name in a big way. You are coming back in a big way. You are coming back presidentially. You are coming back with honor. You will double honor. You are coming back. When Elisha followed Elijah to, to cross River Jordan, he went away with Elijah alone. Now, and the sons of the prophet watched him and they mocked him. But when he was coming back, his fame hit their city. His fame hit their city. They saw him. They saw Elisha came back with double portion anointing. I prophesy to someone, hear me tonight. Those who mock you when you are following your master. Those who mock you for following your master. There are people who mock Elisha for following Elijah. There are people mocking you for following Jesus. There are people mocking you for carrying your Bible. There are people mocking you for saying you belong to Jesus. There are people mocking you for praying. There are people mocking you for reading your Bible. There are people mocking you for coming to church. There are people mocking you for serving in the church. There are people mocking you for saying you are a Christian. There are people saying no, they're mocking you because you say you will not compromise. There are people mocking you because they could not use you to achieve their wicked agenda. There are people mocking you today because you will not do what they want you to do. Ah, I pray for you in their very eyes. God will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who mock Elisha, they saw him coming back with double portion anointing and they celebrated him. They, they went home with him. They sat with him. And Elisha fed them. The servant of Elisha cooked for them. Oh my God, they thought they were mightier than, than Elisha. But when they saw the hand of God upon Elisha and him returning power of the Holy Ghost, they, they followed him to honor him. I want to pray for someone right now in the name of him that died on the cross of Calvary. Men who rejected you, they are coming back to honor you. And the Syria alone will not hit you up. The land of Syria alone will not hit you up. The land of Ghana will not swallow you up. The land of Nigeria will not hit you up. The land of America will not capture you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will capture this land. You will be relevant in this land. You will be relevant in that country. You will be relevant in that city. You will be relevant in that land. In the name of Jesus Christ, in your father's house, you will become the, the celebrity. In your mother's house, you will become the celebrity. In that community, you shall be celebrated. In the name, they came and begged him. The elders said, come back now. We want you. We, we, our enemies have come against us. I prophesy, your, those who became your enemies, their own enemies shall come after them. Those who became your enemies, their own enemies shall come after them. In the sevenfold, they shall be afflicted. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout fire. Hallelujah. 
Oh, I can see God's power right now. I can feel His power. I can feel His glory. Oh, I can feel the anointing of the Spirit of God right now. Baroski talaga baradosia. Oh, I pray for you right now. It is well with you. Now, if you have bought water, now take a bottle of, 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 of glass of water right now. I want to pray into water for you right now. I want to prophesy. I, I will lead you right now. In the next seven Wednesday, I will be prophesying. I will pray into water right. Balika talakato shiara. Oh, get your water ready now. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you one minute. Quickly, get a bottle of water or a glass of water right now. Get it quickly now. Get it now. I want to prophesy. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray that honor will come upon you. That whatever has not been working will begin to work for you. That air will follow you. That favor will pursue you. That God will open your door again. The door that has been closed by the enemies shall be opened by the hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release God's anointing upon that water. I release God's anointing upon that water. I release God's anointing upon that water. Let it become a miracle water. Signs and wonders follow. Whatever you use this water for, when you drink it, when you sprinkle it, when you are, when you bath with it, whatever, wherever, whatever this water touches tonight, I prophesy. Let there be a turn around. Let the river of life flow into you. Let the word of God be quick in your spirit, man. Let there be a revelation tonight. As you sleep tonight, there shall be an encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ, great God will appear to you. Great God will appear to you. I release the spirit of the prophet to visit you tonight. I release the spirit of the prophet to visit you tonight. In seven days from here, the spirit of prophets and the spirit of prophecy will be established in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. I command Balika, every arrow of destruction against your life is destroyed. Every arrow of destruction against your life against your marriage, against your business, against your ministry, is silenced in the name of Jesus. That Jezebel woman, that wicked man, that wicked brother, that wicked sister, that wicked uncle, that wicked aunt, that wicked mother, that wicked father, that wants to see you dead, in the name of Jesus, they will die before you. Those that want to see you wasted, they shall be wasted before you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are not going down. You are going up. I bless you with the blessing of God. I decree this blessing upon you. It will stay with you. It will abide with you. It will be worked out in your life. It will be settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Your prophecy will come through this year. You will build. You will buy. You will possess. You will dominate. You will expand. You will enlarge. You will take territory. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and shout fire rise up and shout fire rise up and shout fire in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it is done it is done if you are watching me on facebook live you can see my hand on the screen now place your hand upon on, on, on that screen right now place your hand if there are 10 of you in that room Place your hand on your hand. Place your hand on the other person's hand. Let there be a contact anointing right now. I speak a likatalika paradoshatalika paladosidia. I command as your hand touches the screen of your phone, as your hand touches the screen of your TV, as your hand touches the screen of your of your of your laptop, and as it touches to my hand, there's a touch in the realm of the spirit. I command. Let the hand of God touch you. Let the hand of God touch you. Let the hand of favor touch you. Let it touch that water now. In that room, I touch that water now. 
I touch you with the hand of anointing. I touch you with the hand of the Spirit. I touch you right now. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Every infirmity in your body disappears. Now, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. I, I believe the word of God has blessed you tonight. I'm excited about what God has done tonight in your life. In your life. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for you that what you have received is permanent. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Thank you for being a part of this uh, broadcast. Spread the gospel and not the gossip. Uh, that is my, my, my wisdom word for you tonight. Spread the gospel. Share this broadcast. Share it. Invite other people. Tag them and tell them to follow us up to watch this broadcast even now. Do party watch or, or, or watch party. Anyone, there's a party in, the, in between. Watch party or party watch. Do something, let others be invited and let them be blessed. You watch it again tonight. Let it be the last thing you hear tonight. Now, you are a captain and not a captive. You are a captain and not a captive. I'd like you to type that right now. If you're on Facebook Live, type it right now. Let me see you. Wherever you are watching from, say, I am not a captive. I am a captain. I am not a captive. I am a captain. Jephthah did not remain a captive. He became a captain. Jephthah became a captain in the same city where he was rejected. I prophesy. I pray for you. You shall rule in the midst of your enemies. You shall captain those who have made you a captive. You shall captain those who have made you a captive. You shall captain those who have made you a captive in the name of Jesus. You shall live a life of purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not be you shall not be helpless. You shall not be without help in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a captain and not a captive. And I prophesy, I said it again. I am saying it again. And I'm saying now again that you shall captain those who have made you a captive. You shall captain those who have made you a captive in the name of Jesus. Shut fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you and increase you in the name of God. Je 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 Jephthah's father was called Mountain of Testimonies. Mountain of Testimonies. And that name, answer for Jephthah, is he became a man of many testimonies. God gave him a testimonies out of his trials. Out of his trials. It was his trials, his temptation, his test that brought out his testimony. Now, what you are going through is what will become the bundle of your testimonies tomorrow. Don't give up on yourself and don't give up on God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the next I will see you and the next I will hear from you, it shall be your testimony. We have been recording testimonies in the last few weeks. It's been so amazing. God has been using the face of his man servant to appear in people's dream and people's city, people's far and near. I've been receiving calls and messages. Papa, you appeared in my dream. And I say, I'm just sleeping in my own room. But God, God brought you to appear in my dream. All kind of testimonies we have been receiving. I pray the hand of prophets will appear to you. The voice of prophets will speak to you. God will change your story. God will settle the matter. God will anoint you. God will favor you in the name of... If you like to be a, 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 a partner with us, a financial partner, they will put the, the, the link of, of, of our donation link on this platform. Please be a partner, a financial partner with us. God is in need of your, of your finance to build for Him. Now, we are building for the Lord. Now, I like, I like you to give through that medium. Just give whatever you can give and put building projects. No, put the notes there. Building projects. And if it's a prophetic seed to the prophet, say prophetic seed. Let it be known 
as a prophetic seed. If you are sowing into my life, put it there, prophetic seed. They will get it to us. If it's for the project, say project, you know, for project. Please, anything you can give, give. The link will be on this platform. I'm sure the media team, they can hear me. They will put the link right there on this platform. Now, it will ble- you will be a blessing as you partake in this anointing and in this order. Every time you give to this work, increase is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. I want to thank every one of you that joined us tonight. The Lord honor you. The Lord increase you. The Lord said to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming back with your testimony in Jesus' name. My name, once again, is Apostle Israel Oilade, the presiding prophet over our Oasis of Great Group International Worldwide. Now, spread the gospel. You said not the gospel. No, no let other know what God by is in your lives and I to bring them closer to God. The Lord bless you and increase you and favor you and establish you. Tomorrow night will be in service in Woodbridge. I'd like you to be part of our service in the very East in Virginia. Be with us in service tomorrow night by 7 p.m. The address will be on this platform. Be with us tomorrow night. Worship with us. It's going to be a super God of God cannot be removed. I cannot be Join us. You said. Make an appointment. You get over 